Good morning and welcome to morning meditation. We're on Psalm 97 today. The heavens declare his righteousness and all the people see his glory. Confounded be they which serve graven images that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye gods. Just a couple of quick thoughts and we're going to try to get through this uh, whole passage this morning because it's so good. But the heavens declare the righteousness of God. All you have to do is look at his creation to know that there is a God and he is in control. Uh, we don't control the weather. We do not control what happens on the earth. Uh, people talk about global warming. Uh, that's actually not really a thing. Scripture tells us that God's in control of the temperatures. He's in control of the snow. He's in control of the rain, the thunder. Uh, man is so arrogant to think he's in control of what happens in the universe. What a, what a reality check uh, Psalm 14 is. The fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. All you have to do is look at the heavens to know there's a God. The way the sun comes up, the way the sun goes down, the way the earth leans, if it leaned one degree closer to the sun, we'd all burn up. If we leaned one degree further away, we'd all freeze to death. How in the world out of chaos did we get to the perfect place? I'll tell you why, because evolution and chaos is a lie and it's perpetrated by people who wanna make themselves God, but God said it doesn't matter, he rules and reigns and the heavens declare his glory. Christian, rejoice in that fact. Rejoice in the fact that he's going to return again one day. Goes on to say, Zion heard and was glad the daughters of Judah rejoice because of thy judgments, O Lord. For thou, Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. Now, for every single one of us, we need to realize that comes in line with uh, Corinthians that says, uh, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against God. And uh, we simply need to just take a stand on the word of God, be kind, be compassionate, but be firm. And last, it says here in verse 10, ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserveth the soul of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked Light is sown for the righteousness and gladness for the upright in heart. Just a lot of good truth there. And some things we need to realize. If we're going to love the Lord, we're going to have to hate the opposite. You, a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. It says light is sown for them of righteousness. Daniel tells us, uh, they that turn many to righteousness shall shine as the brightness of the firmament forever. Now, I wouldn't argue this with anybody, but I believe it from this scripture and a couple other scriptures. That when we get to heaven, we're going to shine as brightly for eternity as the many people we have turned to the Lord Jesus Christ. People, in other words, that we have witnessed to, had a part in, or personally uh, shared the gospel with and they got saved, uh, that's going to add to the brightness. It says light is sown for them uh, that turn people to righteousness. Christian, one of the greatest things you can do is be a soul winner. Not only share your faith, but lead people to Christ, disciple them as the uh, Great Commission tells us to, teaching them all things whatsoever the Lord's commanded us. And in doing that, uh, it's not so that we get a reward one day. I would like to shine uh, brightly for eternity so that God gets the glory for it. So Jesus is honored so that the Holy Spirit can speak through me today. Christian, we want to lift up the Lord Jesus Christ. want to make sure we're focused on the right things and not the wrong things. And boy, there's just a lot of good right here in Psalm 97. Take a few moments to read Psalm 97. Write a few blessings down that you get from it. Keep a journal of your devotions. And then when you're discouraged, you can go back and encourage yourself 
as David did, he encouraged himself in the Lord. God bless you. I love you. Pray for you. And I hope you have a great day.